Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I am so happy to have you with me today. So glad that you are studying the Word of God. My prayer is that you are being inspired and realizing that God wants to teach all of us His Word, that He is our true teacher by His Holy Spirit. And even though uh, I use my voice and He uses my voice to share His Word, it's truly God that's teaching us His Word. And so that's why we always like to go to Him in prayer as we begin our studies. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, I give you praise, blessing, honor, and glory for who you are and what you have provided to us in your word. Lord, we're excited today as we get to study in this Gospel of John again, learning about Jesus who he said when we see him, we see you, and it's exciting to know that the God of the universe wants to reveal himself to us. So we bless you today. We ask you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. And Lord, to empower us by your spirit to live according to that truth that we learn. We just want to bless you and we want to thank you, Lord, for being uh, with us today as we study your word. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Because I Tell You the Truth, You Don't Believe. And it's taken from the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 45. The Apostle John wrote how Jesus told the Jewish people and religious leaders who questioned him, You are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And in chapter 8 and verse 45 of his book, John shared how Jesus told the religious leaders, Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Where we read, And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. The verse reads, And because I tell you the truth. John began with the words, And because, which means, And since, or on account that, I tell you the truth, or I, Jesus, speak to, affirm, point out with words, and make mention to you, Jewish people and religious leaders, that which is true in any matter of consideration. And then the following occurred. John shared how Jesus referred to the truthful way he spoke to the Jewish people and religious leaders. The verse goes on to say, you believe me not. John continued with the words you believe, which means you Jewish people and religious leaders trust in, rely upon, and cling to me not, or me, Jesus, no and not in any way. Jesus, John shared how Jesus told the Jewish people and religious leaders they did not trust in and rely upon him because he spoke the truth to them. When we consider John's words in this verse, we learn why the Jewish people and religious leaders who questioned Jesus did not rely upon and trust in him. Jesus told them the truth, and sometimes when the truth is declared, people do not believe the messenger. Jesus told people to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And those who did not believe that they had any sin or wrong in them refused and rejected Jesus as their personal Savior and Lord. God loves everyone, and his desire is to expose their sin and their need for Jesus to come into their lives to cleanse them. And those who yield to Jesus will be forgiven of their sins and be granted everlasting life with God. All others align with those who did not believe in Jesus even though they have heard the truth of God. Next time, John shares how Jesus asked the religious leaders, which of you convinces me of sin? So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.